Maybe it's OCD, or maybe it's that I've used a lot of Android phones and some of them do this automatically, but I can't stand it when I look at my iPhone, uh, especially in the messaging app, and see all of my friends' contact photos replaced by letters because they don't have one set up or I haven't manually and individually set a photo up for them. Since I figured I'm not the only one that isn't terribly happy with this, uh, I figured I would do a quick video on how I managed to figure out how to get it to work. So in this video, we're really quickly gonna show you how you can actually download an app and have it automatically sync all of your Facebook friend contact photos, even some of their information should you want to do that as well with the contacts on your iPhone. Okay, so in this tutorial, we're gonna use a program called Sync Me. Uh, one, it seems to be one of the most popular ones out there. It's also free, which helps. So, first you're gonna head to the App Store on your iPhone, look for sync.me, then install it. Once it's installed, you can open it, and it's pretty simple from here. You could just tap this big button in the middle uh, and start syncing your contacts. But in my opinion, there's a few settings that I recommend changing for better experience. But again, this is just my personal preference, so feel free to ignore them. Uh, but you can tap settings at the bottom right and then tap sync settings. Then I changed the following things. So for background sync, I don't wanna pay for this uh, and I don't really care if my friends' photos are synced all the time automatically, so I left this off. But this is a paid feature. Should you want it to automatically sync all of your Facebook friends' contact info, their photos and everything all the time. Under sync photos override existing, I turn this on because I do have some seriously old photos for contacts in the Apple database and frankly would rather my friends look how they do now and not what they looked like four years ago. Under sync photos, I adjusted the size. I did full screen because to me it looks better when someone is calling you as opposed to the cropped other options. It is going to take up a little more space and take a little more time, but in my opinion, it's worth it. Then overwrite existing under sync info. Now this I actually leave off because sometimes the crap people put on Facebook isn't really what they want you to have. Like some people still have their at facebook.com emails as their contact info, and you know nobody checks that. Half the people probably don't even know what it is. So I actually left this off and would rather the info that I actually have stay instead of getting overwritten by the stuff on Facebook. Now information under sync info, I actually said all uh, because I don't mind it filling my contacts with the information that I might not have. But again, this in conjunction with don't overwrite existing info that I've already put in is the way I would recommend. And name correction, I just sort of leave off because I imagine that whatever they want me to call them in real life is probably what they'd prefer to be called. After that, you can just tap done and the rest is, like I said, pretty intuitive. Just tap the giant sync button in the middle. It will then ask you which social networks you'd like to connect to sync from. So you can choose from Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Uh, the more you do, the more options it has to pull from, obviously. After that, it will try to sync whatever it can, and then it will show you a list of all the ones that it thinks it synced correctly. You can scroll through this, check them out, make sure that everything is correct, uh, and then once you're happy with that, you can click Next. After that, it'll then show you the ones that it had a conflict for, whether they have similar names or something like that. You can go through this list and tap on each one and then choose which network you want to sync from, who it is from that network, uh, and then hit done for each one. And once you're done with as many as you can, you can click next one more time, and it'll bring you to basically the ones that it couldn't find anyone for, whether that's because you don't know their actual name or because you don't connect with them on some sort of a social network. Either way, you can also go through this list like you did the last one, tapping on the ones that you think you can manually sync. Otherwise, you can just click next. And finally, it will just sync all of your contacts at this point. Then when it's done, you can check through your contacts and make sure that all the info that you want is there. And that's it, simple, easy, and my OCD is calmed. There you go, hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope it helped some of you or brought something to light that maybe some of you didn't know you could even do. Uh, let me know in the comments below though what you thought of this tutorial and suggestions for other tutorials that you'd like to see. Maybe something is bothering you and I can try to help. If you like this video though, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching.